Welcome back, everyone. Magnifying glasses are a must when solving a mystery, right? Yes. So Maria is making a cookie version that's made just for any murder mystery <laughs> viewing party, which brings us to who we just saw, Holly Robinson, Pete, yes. and Rick Fox joining Cameron at the counter, Maria <laughs> and uh, Maria. You. you guys look Maria. lovely. Wow. Lorelei and Paigey. And do we look better? You oh, yes. Do we look, look better under the Glorious, magnifying yes. glasses? The cutest. This it's is so adorable. Cute. So, well, you know I love adorable. a good cookie. <laughs> and you love a good mystery. And I love a good mystery <laughs> and a good theme. And oh my gosh, you can just, I feel like anything when it comes to a mystery, you have to have a magnifying glass. I mean, so that's fun. For yes, sure. exactly. So I was inspired by this because in honor of this Sunday's premiere of Morning Show Mysteries, Death by Design, dun dun dun, on Hallmark Movies and oh Mysteries, gosh. I am making these that adorable works. cookies that are magnifying <laughs> glasses by the way, that you can eat while watching. And in the movie, Billy and Ian, who are our very good friends, Holly Robinson, Pete, and Rick Fox, they yep. team up to find out who killed Billy's best friend's twin sister. Oh, oh. What oh. In the oh. World. oh This is me. gonna be a good one. They definitely need a magnifying glass I just glass wanna point too. out the fact that Maria gave herself her own dun dun dun. dun. It did. Well, she included it in. It wasn't like sound <laughs> effects again. Every yeah. time we say that, I think it in my head, yeah. and so I just really had to. I mean, well. seriously, it was, it needed an insert. Dun, dun, I was dun. very impressed by and it. And can I just say, my goodness, Maria, your skin is oh. flawless. <laughs> well, thank you. It's so beautiful. Thank I didn't you. use the cream. I've had some help. Now, speaking of cream, We've already creamed our sugar and our butter. Here, <laughs> right? Well yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Good segue. So, there. what do we do next? Okay, so uh, just regular sugar, sugar and butter in here, unsalted, of course. What I like to add to this is actually <gasps> coconut oil. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> coconut oil. Coconut Damn, oil. It's oh, my. healthy. Yes, they they are very healthy. So, listen, my mom, when we were making cookies when I was growing up, she always would uh, add in an oil. And I have tried about 50,000 different recipes of sugar cookies. and uh, and nothing could really compare to adding the oil to it. Something about that fat content. But right. I found the coconut oil was actually really great because it actually is, um, gets uh, it's kind of harder at room temperature right. where other oils don't, so it doesn't make it heavy. It adds a nice sort of a crumbliness to right. it. It sets up, but then it's like a good a good crumb to the cookie. And, so. and it's it's better for you than a regular vegetable oil or canola oil. I was just going to say what Maria really oil. meant to exactly. say is it's, what I meant, it's much better for right. you. That's exactly what I meant to <laughs> say. Right. But so, so it's a double whammy. It's much better for you, exactly. and it actually works better Makes in the cookies. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, this is something. If you have not tried it, I promise you will love it. And you don't really taste the coconut, Deb. It's just more of like a a nice like kiss of sweetness. I love more than it. anything else. All right, so now we have creamed everything: our vanilla, our egg, vanilla, our sugar, our, our coconut oil, yep. butter. Now we are going to add our dry ingredients. We are so. Dad, okay. Don't, well, don't uh, get here your, we go. There well, we go. Done. Okay, so the whole system here. I like yeah. to just kind of turn it on and do it slowly and protect Debbie's dress. So in here, I have uh, just some flour. I have some baking powder and salt. So the reason I do baking powder, you have a couple options when it comes to sugar cookies in terms of your leavening. Some people use no leavening. Uh, some people use cream of tartar and baking soda. And baking powder, thank you, is a mix of. Usually it's baking uh, soda, cream of tartar, and usually a little bit of cornstarch. I like the baking powder because that little bit of cornstarch adds a crispness, right. but also does a nice leavening. So bake, mm. think of this, baking powder for puff, baking soda for spread, no baking soda in this because you want you don't want tons of spread. Correct, because yeah. we want our magnifying glasses to stay round exactly. and not become exactly. oblongs. Oh, exactly, yeah. so you just mix this up and you'll and continue it comes together to, more. Course, you continue to mix and you want to separate it, put it in um, a, like a plastic bag or something like that, and put it in your fridge. Okay, now how long do we want to keep it in the refrigerator, Maria? You want to put keep it in the fridge for about an hour. Okay. And uh, you can leave it in there. You can actually freeze this dough, make it ahead of time. So, uh, you know, if you're getting ready for any kind of holiday, you can make this, it freezes about three months in advance. So if you could always get this nice. as you're doing your planning. Now to actually make our magnifying glasses. We made our dough. You don't need a special cookie cutter for this. You don't. So here's the thing. I, I did, when I was researching and I had in my head, I wanted to make magnifying glass cookies. They do make cookie cutters that are in the shape of magnifying glasses. But I don't know how often I'm going to actually make magnifying glass <laughs> cookies. Mean. But I, I do have. Well, you know, we do have a whole network yeah, dedicated to mysteries. mysteries. But what I'm going to do with mysteries, mysteries we can make them once a week at least. Exactly. But I will say with this, I wanted it to be something that everybody could do today. You don't have to wait to go Love get it. the cookie cutter at a specialty store or anything. Okay. So this is the thing. Everybody has uh, cookie cutters that are just circles. Sure. And so what you, you want. You have a biscuit cutter, same thing. Exactly. You can and do if you don't, you have a glass. 
There you oh, go. Yeah. So the oh. trick here is I have the cookies here. I think I just cut blew Cameron's mind. And mine. Clearly you don't think. <laughs> Yeah, just um, use a glass. Just use a glass. Yeah. You definitely could do that. And so this is the trick. Move them after you do the big circle. And to create the center, use one that's smaller. And you just do this right here. And it's okay if they break because we're going to actually put these back together with uh, when we make our little end piece. And these are very forgiving. So and if don't anything, throw these out. No, do not. Eat yeah, them. Eat those. Or bake them. Yeah. Or eat the... Eat the dough. I like how... Eat them. Or just... <laughs> Eat the dough. Yes. The dough Deb. That's such a cute idea. I mean, I love the dough. I know they tell you not to eat the dough. Sure, I'm no. a big fan oh, of the dough. It's just wrong. Here you go, everybody. Like, Pass that dough. Okay, right. so, yeah, so then you can see we have our circles here. Do this part on here. Don't try to move them like this because they they're going to be too fragile. Okay. And so, to do our little uh, handle, I wanted to create a handle that was actually going to, that I could lift. So, what you do is you can, you're going to add it in here. I'm going to grab some extra dough. Oh. And so use this it almost is what like I do. clay. And that is exactly yeah. what it is, I know. Deb. She loves clay. You could do this on top or bottom. So, <laughs> If you break a piece here, put it in there. I'm going to just do it on top. But you could pop this underneath. And look at this is what I do. Just like that. that. And that is how you create your handle. Genius. But now we need our glass. We actually need our magnifying glass. And I see that you're using just broken candies. Yes, so these are just clear candies. You can get these online um, or maybe a specialty store. If you can't find clear, you could use like a blue or um, a yellow or something, but you want to look for the hard candies. Like even um, the rock candy. Remember rock those candy ones that come on a That's yeah. aggressive. You can maybe yes. just knock it off and it's just going to melt something. into the glass. Let so me ask you this. Could you go in? Oh, this go goes in at Sorry, three, this goes in at 350 for about 10 minutes. Okay. And we have our guys right here. Uh, let's say you're a big fan of chocolate chip cookies or or uh, oh. shortbread or something like that. Could you use a other type of cookie dough for these cookies? Would they so hold as well? They would not. The other thing I would say you could use uh -huh. maybe a shortbread. So this is not for every, uh, every cookie recipe does not work with this. So you Got need it. a cookie recipe that's oh, any cookie that you can roll out. So these Got are it. ones that you, like I said, a shortbread, sure. a sugar cookie, anything that you roll out uh, similar to this. Sense. If you, because, this? because of the leavening. What are you doing? So here? I'm making this extra special. This is edible gold dust. You what? mix it, you can actually mix it with some vodka You're because stuck. the vodka will evaporate. Yeah, I know. Real. Good morning. So <laughs> the uh, the Ooh. vodka will evaporate. That'll wake you up. And all I'm doing here is just kind of do making oh, a nice little gold dusting around I here. I mean, that Maria. is super cute. Do yes. yours have gold dusting? Well, well we already they did. did. So we they, don't did. So. they did. They did. So when the, when, the, when the candy melts, it peels off easily from the wax yes, paper? Yes, you will be so it's surprised. Not exactly, okay. you'll be so surprised. When it comes out, you just want to let it cool. It's going to cool decently quick. And then you just do this, and then it's done. It's done. It's and incredible. then you eat it. Well, you, it. Yeah, I think you I know solve who done the it. mystery, then you eat it, everybody. <laughs> well done. Well, look at that. You were right in, Maria. I'm yeah. Full recipe, everybody. HallmarkChannel.com.